What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Apple just released the official iOS 15 and iPad OS 15. Just like many of you, I just updated my iPhone to iOS 15 in the first time and guess what? I just found out one cool and hidden feature which was only seen on iPad OS 14. Now Apple brought this feature to the iOS 15 also. It's drag and drop. Just dive in to see how this works. Simply we pick up one picture in the photo app, drag it, just like this, and we slide to the file app, and drop it. That's it. The picture just copied to the file app by dragging and dropping. Let's try out some photos on the website. I bet some of you guys don't even know selecting stuffs like this. So go back to home screen, and we drop them to the messages. And boom! The photos you picked just put in the blank instantly. Super easy, and super cool. See these little switchy motion. We have tried photos. And this, can work on text too. Let's find a paragraph. And select it. Then press the text. You can see the texts are grouped. Then you can drag it, and drop at the typing box or anywhere you want to type. It's quite a different experience to copy, paste. And if you're having the iPhone XS and later iPhone, which you can use live text feature. You can also play all together with this feature. Let's say there's a sentence in the picture. With live text, we can just select the text. And then, drag it. And we switch to the notes. And drop it. That's it. This feature will highly improve your productivity if you're handwriting at work or school. Besides photos and texts. Some documents can be also transferred by this way. Let me show you how. First we head to the Files app, and select this PDF file, then switch back to the Messages, then drop it. Now you can send it. Very easy to proceed. But while testing, I found out some types of files do not support transferring by this way. Like zip file. When I drag and drop the zip file to the Messages it just disappeared. Maybe it just because iMessage is not supporting. Let me know in the comment if you find out other possible ways. Okay so that's all for today's video. I've shown you how to drag and drop on iOS 15, a cool feature that worth trying. If it helps, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I would be very grateful if you subscribe. Stay tuned for our next video.